So hey guys, welcome back to the channel of Btenix, and I hope you all are doing really well. And today I'm really excited to show you that how you can create cinematic AI videos with Pika Lab. So before starting the video, I just want you to know that if you are interested in AI tools, we have an AI tools workshop that is just available for nine rupees. You can check that out. The link is in the description, and more details are there ahead in the video. And let's continue the video. There have happy new year. If your resolution for 2024 is getting accelerated career growth along with a good salary hike, then you are at right place. If you want to do the same, you should be learning Chat GPT and AI tools and how you can integrate them for your own advantage. There have been some incredible innovations with the tools, and the result we are getting are kind of. borderline cinematics so let's hop into the first step in order to get a cinematic result is to input a cinematic image and for images i'd like to use mid journey i feel like it produces the best results at this point so i'll not tell every nitty gritty detail about how i create a image using mid journey so if you want to know more about that i have created videos that how to create images using mid journey so you can check them out we'll directly come on it so if you type in cinematic still and then talk about the type of composition or what you want to see in your frame you can also do it into reinforce it with the things like the lens that is used 32 weight key things like that and talk about the color grading and it will generally push your images in a cinematic direction depending on your own creative vision so that's exactly what i did for our example and when you are working with mid journey especially always make sure that you open in the browser when you don't open it in the browser you you actually get less resolution so make sure that you go to the browser and then save that image great that now we have the image in hand and let's go over to pika labs so again pika is inside of discord if you have not joined the pika discord server you will find the link below this video in order to convert an image into video using pika labs you can just go to any of the generate channels i'll just pick number 6 here and you type in forward slash and create so you can prompt and direct what you want to see what i like doing is actually uploading my first image so i'll go to a plus one more over here and select images and now all you have to do is simply drag and drop your images into this window for our example here i'm actually going to be using this image of a man looking to the left of his hair is kind of blowing in the breeze so let's see what we get so i'll grab the image and drop him right here and now So cool. Now we will go to the. Uh, so now we'll go to the prompt and let's type in the actual action that we want to see for this image because it's a man looking off right of its very dramatic. Uh, it's very dramatic, right? I think I am definitely want to have the shot to be in the slow motion. So I'm going to type in the slow motion and I also think I want this hair to be blowing. So I'm going to say hair blowing and maybe we want the clouds in the background to just have like slight movement. So I'm going to say slight cloud movement in the background. and that might be the enough of course we could go in and prompt further also keep in mind that there are limitations related to the movement and sometimes if you have too much movement it can get really distorted that's just one of the limitation of working with ai tools at this moment and before moving ahead i just want to have a small talk with you nowadays you all might know that ai is taking over the world and in just a short span of time you have seen so many layoffs millions of jobs replaced by ai and what not and, and i believe that you don't want to get affected by this recession wave right Well I can assure you that an AI won't replace you but the person using AI will surely so if you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career join our 3 hour AI tools workshop in which we'll teach you about the best AI tools to upskill yourself increase your productivity and also enhance your career make your future secure with us join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description now let's continue the video guys so in addition to the actual moment that we want to see we also can prompt in a few other things so for example we could change the frames per second if we did dash fps we could type in a number but by default it gives a 24 frames per second which is the frames per second needed to create film so that's totally fine we don't have to type in anything there now also you can direct camera movements and that's very important because it allows you to essentially be a cinematographer creating your scenes here so in order to do that you type in dash cameras and you can start to add in multiple commands and i'll put a list of commands below this video but for example i think i want the camera to pan to the right so i'm going to type in the pen so i'm going to so i'm going to type in pan and then right now in addition to right you can and you can also say like pan left pan up pan down and then you could also and then you can also do combination so you could do pan right and then pan up or pan left and down so you can put in any combination that you want and you can also direct the zoom so we could say camera zoom and then we could say that in uh, that we can say and we can also say that zoom should be in or out 
and it's completely up to you and then you will be have the ability to rotate as well as so you can type in camera rotate and then you know you can say clockwise counterclockwise anti clockwise you can also do many other things and in order to do that for our specific use cases here i'll say camera pan right so i want the camera to go from left to right to get the to get the finished result and be and it will probably give us something pretty good but i actually found that if you want to get maximum cinematic quality you actually need to do dash and then make this growing to create a negative prompt and then create this and then create this negative prompt so essentially what negative prompt does is uh, so like it's going to remove anything from the results now of course there are things that we don't want to see like blurriness or distortion i could i can actually have a list of tags that i like throwing into every single prompt inside of picker just to kind of keep it consistently higher quality and you will find below the and you will find those below this video and you can just copy paste them and you are good to go so i'm going to go ahead and paste those into our prompt video here you can see we have words like noisy bad quality distorted we don't want to see that stuff in this scene we want it to be cinematic as cinematic and we want it to be cinematic but as cinematic as possible so when you are ready go ahead and click enter and now we simply have to wait on picker to get done processing this video it takes about 30 seconds it's pretty fast so the results are generated and let's see what pika gave us so we have the video here and he is looking off into the distance his hair is waving it looks pretty good honestly the results not too shabby of course if you didn't like the results you could simply hit the refresh wheel and here it will run the prompt again and if you wanted to change your prompt and change the direction that you are inputting it to into pika you just hit the shuffle button here and when you click on that it pops open the window and you can just change whatever prompts you want to and then resubmit it and i'll and it will run it again it's super helpful and useful but you don't have to reupload the image each time i'm going to say that like i this video so i'm like this video so all i'm going to do is hit download and this is the result that we have from pika and you can see over here that it looks pretty darn cinematic and i think pika did an amazing job so let's address the address so let's just address the watermark elephant in the room so how do we get rid of this water so right now videos always come with this watermark well in order to remove that watermark we are going to use a tool called wonder share pixie cut and essentially all you have to do is click on the remove watermark button here and upload your footage so we'll go ahead and drag and drop our footage that we downloaded from pickup and pen whenever it pops up here you'll see that you have essentially a brush and we can just brush over the pika lab sticks like this is now is this tool absolutely perfect 100 of the time no and when you are done with that you can go to remove objects now it does cost money to use this tool see so you don't necessarily have to go through this step i'm going to show you how to extract maximum cinematic quality and if you decide to leave with the matter mark that is also your choice but guys this is how you can produce videos using pika labs but guys this is how you can produce cinematic quality videos for using pika labs and guys that is it for this video so if you like the video don't forget to leave a like also drop a comments if you have any doubts and also do and also don't forget to subscribe beat linux and do remember that we have an ai tools workshop that is just available for 9 rupees do check that out and i'll see you in the next video bye bye